Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Project Zomboid. Today, what, my thread's not in there? Rude. Uh, today, it is foggy, and because it is foggy, I figured I would uh, practice my sewing. So I've got a leather jacket. I'm just going to grab it up and sit in this corner and as long as i can i will just uh, patch it and unpatch it and repatch it i have like 19 thread so i should be able to just like patch the crap out of it and this should just give me more and more Tailoring XP. Yep. I might need to actually go and grab more rip sheets. Be pretty funny. Uh, but if I have to, I have to. It's no big deal. I don't think there's that much risk in going out like five feet. Dude, I'm really closing in on tailoring level two. I think we're going to get it uh, when I... Uh, take all these patches off hell yes that is amazing I didn't think I'd see the day and I still have eight thread to spare uh, do I have tailoring two I have tailoring five three two and one okay well that gives me another thing to do as I wait for the fog to go away. Um, I really should not have put half the shit back in my friggin' inventory. It is really dumb of me. Z Squad I have not seen. So I guess that's the last VHS that I've got. I'll put the rest of them in the fanny pack. And uh, speaking of fanny packables, I'm just gonna... Oh, I've got strawberries in my fanny pack. I'm gonna eat these strawberries. Alright, Z Squad, Season 2, Episode 2. Let's see it. And I'll begin reading Tailoring Volume 2. Hell no, I ain't getting on no train. Okay, I kind of passed it by. I don't think it was actually a zombie show, surprisingly enough. Alright, that is the fog dealt with. We can always, uh... Deal with the tailoring stuff later. I'm just gonna put it on this desk and I'm gonna put away my VHS tapes that I got. So for today, uh, we pretty much have the same options as yesterday. We can finish this wall, get it finally over with so I no longer have to worry when I'm in my lot. That would be pretty nice. I could explore for that one lot where I could chop down some trees. Honestly, I think I probably should do a little bit of tree chopping and whatnot. I think I can probably place my axes on the ground so I'm not tempted to chop a tree down with them. I've already got, I've got the nightstick in my inventory, so, got a zombie slaying weapon, and I'll grab up these stone axes. I should have a bunch of chip stones to, okay, I say a bunch, it's not really all that many. Uh, I ate them, actually that is pretty, pretty much a lot of them. Uh, so I'll be able to... Make more stone axes. I want to start off by chopping a couple trees down. Uh, the ones in this corner that have like are encroaching on my base. And then once I'm done with that, I'll begin the wall project. That'll be my first day. I probably should grab up some tree branches. All right, it's eight tree branches. We can now make eight stone axes. It's a little bit super duper encumbering, but I can start 
plopping some of them into my back pack. And I'll equip one. Ooh, hold on. We're uh, just golden. Equip load. I'll put three in my backpack. That should absolutely be enough for the rest of the clearing of this junk away. Okay. I think that's enough chopping for now. We've beaten back the tree line a bit. My man's getting very thirsty. Put the rest of the stone axes into the the scrap chest out here for when I want to do future chopping. Obviously the broken ones will go into the garbage can. Can I get this friggin' broken glass? <laughs> Furniture. Get out of here. There we go. Alright. Let us make this time count now. Just checking that I don't have any like random junk in my inventory. Guess I'll put the toilet paper away. The thread. And I'll get started. Let's actually go. That is what I'm freaking talking about, man. That is so freaking good. How, uh, what would it take for a double door? I'd need 12 freaking planks. Mm. Okay. Well, I guess I'll start, uh, stacking planks in this location. Oh man, how many episodes have I just been noodling away at this fucking project? Feels like it's been like half a dozen. But the yard is finally mostly walled off, and once I get the door, it'll be the like preliminary phase done. I need, um, to eat a little bit. I guess I'm gonna... Grab a few strawberries. And honestly, I'll just grab six of them. And I'm going to read until they no longer are frozen. Alright, strawberries unfrozen. I know like three of them would have been enough to save my appetite, but any little bit helps to combat the constant weight loss. Oh my god, brother. Ah, uh, well. I mean, tis the season, I suppose. It's fine. I'm just gonna... sit on the ground and read. I do need to finish off this tailoring book anyways, so... I do not mind the fog. It's just an excuse to... stay inside. Wow. I actually read through all of, all of it. Well, luckily... Uh, I have some threads still, so I could probably put my newfound tailoring knowledge to work. Just gonna grab a small handful of ripped sheets. And begin the process of practicing once again. It's nice we've got a five times multiplier. Not that I think it will make things quicker than last level up, because I need more XP. 
just feels better, you know, to know that I'm getting more XP out of it. Am I out of, uh, I might be out of patches. So don't think I'm out of thread. Yeah. Alright, do I have thread in my back pocket? I do. Wait, do you get thread back for, uh, I think you might get thread back for unpatching the shit sometimes. Okay. Well, in the sewing kit, I'm going to store this random tiny bit of thread. I mean, maybe I should hold it on me just in, uh, just in case I like get a laceration or something. I also saw that I had the Pistola still in my inventory. The M625 revolver. So I might as well put that motherfucker in here. So that is 1.75 encumbrance. And I probably can put my plantains away as well. Getting a little bit hungry again. But I'm not super duper concerned about my weight. So. I'll just go to the fanny pack. I mean. Maybe I could do some dipping in. To the fanning stuff actually. Mayhaps. Yeah I'm gonna. Drink this evaporated milk. Sounds fucking disgusting. Oh crap, it's still cloudy. Pretty sure all my books are like booked up. I mean, I guess I could run back and forth like this. Practice my nimble. Because I don't really want to exercise today because I have plans. Yeah, I think I'll do that, even though it's extremely time consuming. And boring. Don't worry, buddy. I'm also getting bored. But this is valuable. XP farming. I like to imagine that my dude set up, like, empty tin cans along the floor to, like, weave the feet through. Oh my god, am I not getting XP because there's no zombies nearby or something? Fuck me, dude. Fucking game. God damn it. No, I did get X, but it's so tiny. Are you fucking joking? Oh, man. I'd rather just sit. Okay, here we go. Bog. Gonzo beans. I hope there's bonus XP when dealing with zombies. It's that... It's fucking abysmal. How's the cabbages doing? They're flourishing. They're well honored. Well, uh, I guess... Part of me wants to go on the trip that I wanted to go for a while ago. It's a lot less pressing now because I just fucking wasted about 10 bajillion carpentry XP already. So I'm probably going to get minimal more this playthrough. So I'm thinking maybe I could just take the plunge and finish the shit off. I need some door hinges and knobs. Mm, go to a different house. Oh, the door's just bashed open here. Interesting. Got anything cool in the... No. I've already been through here. Oh, well, take it. Why not? Like halfway there already. 100% chance to get shit back. That's fucking amazing. Uh, I guess I'll grab one plank. Oh yeah, there's a corpse in this. Okay, I just need one more hinge. I think. So I have three of each. Let's see. One more hinge. And eight more planks. Uh, I guess I can look in this house. Mm, top stairs terrifies me. I know I've got one in the box, so I'm just gonna 
I guess, gather that up. And then I'll come back down. Get the uh, plankety planks from the pile of logs down there. Wait, what? Do I not? Surely not. Could have swore I picked up a door hinge. Well, I'll be. Hold up, it might be randomly placed in my shelf, I guess. That's where the fire extinguisher is. Man, that kind of ticks me off. Uh, I guess I'll make a trip to the house over here. Let's double check. Alright, cool. Got two hinges from this one. And disassemble this mirror and drawers as well. 97% chance to get everything out of it. Or usable materials. Not necessarily everything, I guess. Alright, I've got five planks. That's six, so I just need a little bit more. How much more? Six more. Okay, so that's two logs worth. Which is simple as... Alright, taking a little bit of damage. That's completely A-OK. -okay. Just plop this sucker here. And boom. That's friggin' done. Let's actually go. Since I'm here, I might as well just finish off this project. Or this phase of the operation, I should say. Nails. And that is the entire wall done. Let's friggin' go. Dude, hell yes. Oh my god. What a pain in the ass this was. But now, my entire yard is entirely fenced off to the point where I don't think zombies will wander in hearing the generator. Uh, how do I shut this? Okay, there we go. I guess one thing I could do just to maybe ensure maximal safety is like move it a little bit. Though I fear moving it too close to my door. Uh, I suppose I could move these lawn chairs and then just have it in this little nuggy over here. My lawn chairs will, uh, be down here, I suppose. You serious, brother? There we go. Ah, yes. Now we really, really should be safe. So there ain't no way fucking zombies are hearing this shit even at the edge here. I mean, we've got time, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get started on the next phase of the operation. Uh, I need a little bit of a sheet rope because I'm gonna want to lug some logs around. So I think it would be uh, nice to do so. So I'm pretty sure the uh, log stack... Let's see, log... Yeah, it's sheet rope and logs. It will make these motherfuckers less, uh, heavy. Alright, is that actually less? Oh yeah, it's way less. And I guess I'll grab up two more locks. Put these fuckers in my bag. Dude, I'm not even encumbered. So I'll make this into a two log stack. Alright, you're going on the ground. Alright. 
All right, so the next thing I want to make is some stairs. Uh, I guess I can put it... Uh, excuse me, brother. There's only these two orientations. I kind of want it. Well, whatever. This is what I have to do. Just plop this right here. No, one back. No, right here it shall be, I guess. Oh, okay, that's cool. It's because of, of the uh, distance from the plank stack. Now I can create the ultimate technology. Wooden floor. I can create a little viewport balcony. Oh man, what if a zombie gets under it? That's kind of... I didn't want to think about that, but now I have. I wanted to... I guess I'll make a wall frame so I can make a window up here. So I do want this to be sneaky. So it'll be two windows and a wall. Or no, it'll just be four windows. I'm gonna create the wall frames underneath this friggin' thing too. Maybe I'll make a door. This could be like a little storage shed. It's not a bad idea. I would need more planks, but I think I've still got planks. Do I still have planks? One plank. Okay, it's getting a little bit dark. Uh, but whatever. In for penny, in for pound. How many door hinges and shit do I have? Do I even have enough for a... Uh... I would need one more door hinge. I mean, whatever. I can get that easily. So this viewing port will allow me to get advantage on how many zombies are at my door if I hear a banging. And it will also serve as a pretty nearby escape point. Probably want to build like another one on the opposite side. If I can help it. Oh crap, I think I'm on the, the underweight threshold. Oh well, I've got plenty of time today. I will use it to make a rice dish. Fried rice of my very own. Which will allow me to refat max. So, where's my rice? I have rice, right? Yeah, here we go. Well, let's get some tomato paste and some lentils, black beans, split peas, chickpeas, ketchup, hot sauce, soy sauce, marinara. Mustard, olive oil, salt, pepper, heat. Oh, almost burnt it. Just fucking go in super zoom mode. Alright, this should pack quite the friggin' punch. I expect three chevrons upwards. It has merely stabilized my friggin' weight. Uh, that's not super duper awesome. Kinda expected more out of that one. Crap. Oh man. Well, I can't even eat anymore. Guess I'll just set this freaking cook pot outside. Well, you know what? We didn't exactly go far today. But, got a tailoring level up. Got the wall finished. And we've begun working on the, uh, the castle project, I'll call it. The fortifications. I'd say that's pretty good for an episode. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more Project Zomboid. Goodbye!